Today in the Daily Dose, Ernest Hemingway. Born in 1899, Oak Park, Illinois, Ernest Hemingway cut his journalistic teeth writing for his high school newspaper before landing a job at the Kansas City Star, where he once said that on the Star you were forced to learn to write a simple declarative sentence. This is useful to anyone. Newspaper work will not harm a young writer and could help him if he gets out of it in time. Serving as an ambulance driver in the First World War, Hemingway was injured by an exploding mortar shell, receiving some 237 bits of shrapnel, an aluminum kneecap, and two Italian medals. Later, using his wartime experiences and close calls with death in several of his most acclaimed novels. Moving to Paris after the war, Hemingway became a leading figure in what his friend and mentor Gertrude Stein famously called The Lost Generation, which was a group of Paris-based artists who seemed lost or misdirected during the early years after the war, including F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ezra Pound, James Joyce, Sinclair Lewis, and Pablo Picasso. During his Paris years, Hemingway frequented the famous Running of the Bulls in Pamplona, Spain, which would lead to his debut novel, The Sun Also Rises, published in 1926. Other acclaimed novels would follow, including A Farewell to Arms, To Have and Have Not, A Movable Feast, For Whom the Bell Tolls, and An Old Man in the Sea, the later earning him a long-denied Pulitzer Prize in literature. Married four times in a life filled with adventure, hard drinking, and beautiful women. Before his death in 1961, Ernest Hemingway survived two plane crashes and numerous car crashes, as well as a shotgun wound while wrangling a shark off of Key West, Florida. After searching for U-boats in his beloved fishing boat Pilar, he also served as a foreign correspondent during the Second World War where he reported on several of the war's most decisive turning point moments, including the D-Day landings at Normandy. Battling deteriorating mental and physical health in his later years, Hemingway retired to Ketchum, Idaho, where he committed suicide on July 2, 1961, ending the life of one of the most unique voices in modern literature. And there you have it, Ernest Hemingway, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with a daily dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.